When we start on the path of demonolatry, uh, one of the first, first things we obviously want to know is what demons should we call upon? And if you're a beginner, then, you know, when it comes to the demons, there are some that are a bit more intense than others. Um, so knowing which demons to actually work with right at the beginning, so you can get used to the whole process, is usually a good thing. So today I just want to go through a list of 10 demons that you can call upon to work with uh, that are, you know, good for beginners. So let's have a look at that. All right, when it comes to demonolatry and working with demons and being a beginner, as I said, you know, there are some that are just easier to work with, so not as intense as uh, some of the others. But if you are working in traditional demonolatry, um, when I say traditional demonolatry, I'm referring to the, the you know S. S. Connolly's works and things like that then you're probably going to be starting out uh, casting a circle and calling upon the five elemental kings. Uh, a bit later on, you probably be working with the nine uh, demonic divinities. Um, now, the nine demonic divinities include the five elementals. Um, but, you know, you're going to be working in, in the circle space where you're balancing the balancing the elements with these five elemental kings. And so it's usually a good idea just to get to know them, obviously. Um, but I want to try and kind of distinguish between casting a circle and calling the five elemental kings, in which case you're working with the elements themselves and you're balancing the elements in the space you're working in and actually invoking a specific demon for a specific thing. Um, whatever it is, knowledge, money, uh, love, etc, etc. So when you're working with the five elemental kings in a circle casting or in some kind of circle construct, some kind of sacred space, then you are working mostly with the elemental forces that come from those uh, elemental kings. Um, if you then include the other four, then you're working with, um, you know, different aspects of, not the elements themselves, but different aspects of life. For instance, uh, Ansia is, or represents life. Amducius represents destruction. Verine would represent healing or health. And Uranimus or Uri would represent death. So you have these aspects of life. You've had the creation and the destruction, um, and you can split these into 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 threes as well, uh, into the three phases of of life, into the three phases of creation and destruction, etc., etc. But that's slightly different to if. If you are calling a specific demon for a specific thing you want in your life or, this, or a specific thing you want to learn about. Um, so, you know, let's rather talk about that because that's what most people are interested in. Uh, but don't push all the other stuff away and, you know, it's, it, it's actually excellent to actually work in a properly constructed sacred space where you are, have the elements balanced. So work with, the, work with the five elemental kings, which would be Lucifer, Flerius, Leviathan, Belial, and Satan. Okay, Satan, you know, they, they all represent a particular, a particular element. In traditional demonolatry, this is the elements that they signify. Um, but when it comes to Satan, you can work with Atem, for instance. Uh, Satan is the all, the ether, spirit. Um, so if you have a, a deity or a demon that represents that to you, then you can use that, for instance. Um, but if you're not sure, if you are just starting out, work with those five. Um, it, it balances the space really, really well. 
Okay, so let me get into these 10 demons. So the first one is Boone. It's spelled B-U-N-E. And I've lined, I have I worked with Boone years ago and I, I found his energy to be very kind. Um, very easygoing and definitely good for a beginner to work with. Now, Boone is excellent to work with in terms of bringing you riches, bringing you wealth. Um, so great for business. Um, you know, if you need a new job or you need a promotion or something like that. So anything related with to riches and wealth, excellent to work with. But one area that I think Boone doesn't really get much mention of is that he is a ne necromantic demon, a death demon. Um, he's very much a psychopomp, actually. Uh, a psychopomp is um, a spirit, a deity, a demon, even a human being who gathers the dead and, and uh, sends them through the veil to the other side. Okay, so sort of transports the dead to the beyond. Um, but Boone, as a necromantic demon, can be used in seances. Uh, so if you have a medium uh, that you're working with, who is particularly good at, at contacting the dead. Boone is great to, if, if you call on Boone before the seance, um, he's, or she actually, is great to work with in terms of sort of standing guard, keeping order. Um, and then things just don't get out of hand, don't go too crazy. So if you are a medium um, and you know all those voices are going crazy and there's just all these dead people trying to talk to you at the same time, call Boone and he'll bring some order into the whole scenario. The next one is Baal and some people will say that Baal is the same spirit as Baal. Um, some people will say that it's not. Uh, a lot of people say that it's, it's an aspect of Baal. Um, but Baal is often considered the fiery part of Baal. And in this respect, uh, Baal is, um, is, well, basically rules over the solstices and the fire festivals. So if you are celebrating any of those festivals, um, the seasons and everything else, then, you know, you can always call on Baal. He also brings friends together. So if you are having a bit of a problem with a friend, a bit of a falling out, you might want to work with him in that respect. And he inspires creativity. So if you are an artist of some kind, whether you're a writer, author, um, whether you are an artist, a fine artist, uh, a craftsman, any, any area which is creative, then you can work with him for for, for inspiration in that creativity. And if you want to work with him in terms of bringing wealth, then it would be in that regard. So it would be about bringing wealth from the creative projects that you have. Then we have Vasago. Uh, Vasago, Vasago is a very, is a very gentle spirit. Um, if you read Paul Husson's Mastering Witchcraft, um, he's actually mentioned in there. And Vasago is a, an excellent spirit to work with for divination. But divination, especially in regards to um, relationships with other people. And when I talk about relationships, it's interactions with other people. So um, in terms of Vasago and divination, divine for things like negotiations, with business partners or companies or something like that, uh, any kind of negotiation that you might be getting involved with, um, but also specifically to check on your enemies. Um, if an enemy has cursed you or what they're up to, uh, you know, just basically keep an eye on them just, just to make sure everything's uh, going well for you. Um, so that Vasago, but Vasago is a very, very good spirit to work with, especially for a beginner. Then one of the big ones is Paimon. Paimon 
I've, I've actually never worked with Paymon myself. I have touched bass with him a couple times, but it's never been anything quite intense. Um, but Paymon, loads and loads of people love Paymon. Uh, so the energy that actually comes with Paymon is quite incredible. But he is very good uh, if you want to study anything in relation to the arts, the sciences, the sciences, or occult itself. And also if you need help with, with understanding emotions. Um, so emotional understanding, um, but very good teacher. And there's, there's, a, there's three or four in, in this list which are actually excellent teachers. So I'm going to go just touch on that teacher part now. The next one um, would be Lucifer. Lucifer, I, I love Lucifer. Lucifer is just amazing. And uh, if you haven't watched the video about who, who Lucifer is really, then have a look at that. I'll link to it in the, uh, in the little thingy at the top there. Either one of these sides. Anyway, somewhere around there at the top. Um, Lucifer is the bringer of knowledge. The, the light bringer. Um, the illuminator of the path. And so Lucifer becomes an incredible teacher. And, you know, you can go to Lucifer to ask about anything related to the occult, related to life, related to the universe, related to anything really, because Lucifer really is, for me, the ultimate teacher. But another one is Vine or Vinay. Um, some people pronounce that a bit differently. Um, Vinay is, is, is definitely a, a, basically just a teacher, um, and specifically of magic itself. So whereas Paymon would be the arts, the sciences, occult, all that stuff, Vinay is very specifically a teacher of magic. And so if you are studying something in particular, studying something very specific, then you can go to Vinay and ask for some help. If you, know, if you come across something that you just can't wrap your head around, can't understand properly, and you just need that extra bit of... Um, that boost in intelligence, let's put it that way. So if you, if it, if it's anything to do with magic, go to Vinay, ask for help, ask for understanding and excellent demon for that. Then just to come back to money related um, stuff, business, riches, wealth, etc., etc. Belfagor is a very good demon to work with in that regard. Um, I think you'll find that a lot of people who work with Belfagor find him to be extremely helpful uh, and definitely related to riches, wealth, business, um, you know, building up business and actually generating more business. Um, and if you're in a bit of a pickle with uh, finances, Belfagor will definitely help in that regard. And Belfagor will basically kind of unblock the road um, so very much a road opener as well, I find. Um, and so, you know, if, if there's certain avenues that are slightly blocked, uh, that you're not seeing at all, uh, Belfagor will go and block them and then will bring the sources of that, that income to you. So that if you are in a bit of a bind and a bit of a pickle, um, you know, various different sources will be made aware to you, will, you'll be made aware of. Um, so great in terms of anything to do with money and wealth and business. Excellent demon for that. And then also to come back to divination, uh, Astaroth. Um, Astaroth is the demoness of divination, but also the demoness of friendship and love. Um, Astaroth is often related to Astarte. Uh, which is basically a love, love deity. Um, so Astaroth, if you have any issues with, with love, uh, with friendships, um, and you want to divine about it, Astaroth's there. But Astaroth is excellent for any form of divination, actually, being the demoness of divination, you know, makes sense. And 
in that regard, or specifically in the God of love, um, Beleth. Now, Beleth is said to be a lust demon, and, and the old grimoires say that he is very terrifying. Now, anybody who's worked with Beleth from a demonolatry perspective will probably tell you that they haven't had any issues with him being terrifying. Um, but Beleth is said specifically to be a lust demon. However, Beleth is more suited to work with in terms of finding your ideal mate, um, a lifelong partner, uh, soulmate, that type of thing. And is also great to go to if you need counseling that's got anything to do with the matters of the heart and emotions. Um, so very much your, your psychologist, really. Uh, so although Lust Demon, you know, we can consider Beleth to be the psychologist of the demons, I think. <laughs> um, and also because, because Beleth uh, is, is largely associated with the matters of the heart and counselling, um, if you've lost a loved one, then very good to go to and speak to uh, in regard to that and just bring in your understanding and bring in your comfort. Um, so with all of that in mind, how anybody consider would, would consider Beleth to be terrifying, I'm not sure. Um, they don't really equate, they don't really go together. But uh, excellent for counselling, um, emotional stuff, uh, you know, understanding and bringing comfort uh, when, you've, when you've had heartbreak. Um, so Beleth, lovely demon. And then the last one I want to speak about is Leviathan. Um, and this also goes hand in hand with the emotional aspect. Um, Leviathan is brilliant to work with in terms of understanding emotions. Uh, if you have emotional imbalance, then call on Leviathan. Uh, he will bring your emotions into balance. He will, um, you know, cause you to understand um, the emotions themselves, why you're having these emotions, why they are so out of balance, and will help to actually level them out. Um, Leviathan brings a lot of comfort. I always see Leviathan as the emperor in the tarot. Uh, you know, the old man, or well, oldish man, you know, not old, old man, but uh, the older man, who is the father figure, who is friendly, um, who will sit there and talk to you, listen to you, uh, counsel you, um, bring you comfort, uh, bring you peace. But at the same time, you should never interpret that kindness as weakness. Uh, if somebody comes along and steps on his child, then, uh, you know, the vicious sea monster comes out. Um, so, very much the Emperor of the Tarot, and that's how I interpret the Emperor of the Tarot as well, which is why I relate the two so, so much. Um, but, yeah, Leviathan is a fantastic demon to work with, uh, especially if you are actually um, by the co or near the coast and you can visit the, the sea itself. Um, it's very powerful, extremely powerful. And, well, that's my list of demons to work with if you're a beginner. I uh, hope that helps. You know, I think there's a bit in there for everybody, uh, whether you're looking for love, whether you're looking for more money, um, creativity, inspiration, um, counselling, um, teaching, knowledge. There's, there's a bit of all of that in one of these demons. So I think this list of 10 demons for beginners is probably, I'd say, the best. I, I, I came up with the list, so it has to be the best. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this week. And if you're around on Friday at 4 p.m. GMT, please come and check us out on the live, uh, the Black Hat Chat live show. We This week we're talking about sex magic. So it's an 18, a PG-18 uh, show this week, so it should be quite interesting. Um, 
but yeah, that's at 4 p.m. GMT on Friday, and hope to see you there in the chat. Ask questions, say hello. Yeah, live chat. Live chat is there. It's open for everybody. So uh, yeah, that's Friday. And my um, meditation and breathwork video course, which I will be doing for free. Uh, if you want to make a donation, that would be much appreciated. But that that course is going to remain free because the other courses are going to be referring back to that as a foundation. Um, but that should be actually ready today, I think. Uh, so, so by the time you watch this video, it should be ready. So go and visit leewjohnson.com and uh, have a look for the online courses and it will be in there. And that's it then. Have a great week and I'll see, hopefully see you all on Friday. Cheers.